Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to my December 2020 update video for, you guessed it, December 2020. Woo! So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, we're gonna go over some personal life stuff, as well as YouTube stuff. So, <sighs> breathe in that good ass prana. And as always, let's just jump right into it. And for this month's update video, uh, there's gonna be a lot of things that intersect with each other. So there's not really going to be any clear-cut sections this time around, so bear with me. As far as youtube -y stuff goes, I know I haven't really been making a whole lot of that quality content lately. And that's mostly just been due to uh, finals, final projects, as well as getting my visa situation taken care of. I'm proud to say that I've officially graduated from Lakeland University of Japan with my associate's degree. And I got that on my birthday as well. So that was a fun belated birthday surprise when I went to go pick it up. It feels pretty good to uh, finally have my first post-secondary education degree. And as a nice little 35th birthday present, not too shabby. Since graduating, I've gone and submitted paperwork to change my visa status to that of a job hunting visa. So job hunting visa is technically a designated activities visa. With that, I'll be able to stay in Japan for up to a year while I continue to look for jobs, do some part-time work, and just go from there. So the plan is for 2021 to go through with the job hunting visa. And then once Lakeland starts up their bachelor's program, which at the time of this recording should be in the summer 2021, then I'll just switch back to a student visa and continue on for my bachelor's degree. So I got picked up for a couple of really good gigs recently. I just been in talks with someone who is in charge of the current company that I work for. So they're basically like the parent company, essentially. That's the best way I can describe it they want me to uh, to work for them. So if all goes according to plan, that's gonna be my main source of income until I go back to school. Yeah, things are looking really good for your boy, the Andy Sand Sam Modesta. And I gotta say, this year has not been what I expected at all. In more ways than one, not just in the negative, but also in the positive as well. When I first came back to Japan at the end of 2019, it was with the intention of not only going to school to get my degree, but to also resurrect the Andy Japandi series and to make that quality Japan content that I've been looking forward to, to making ever since I left the country back in 2015. But as you guys know, uh, life has other plans. So old cloney macaroni threw a uh, monkey wrench into that. So I've been stuck basically making videos here in my room. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I thought that like once I got back to Japan I would stop making videos in my room and would instead just go out and make some videos But then I got sent back to my room and all I could do is make videos in here uh, At least from an ethical standpoint, you know, obviously there's other content creators who don't really have such qualms about Making content out and about during this time for me. I kind of struggled with it, you know, like obviously Japan's a lot safer than in other countries in terms of handling the invites to a uh, Kelowna Chan World Tour. But I still felt weird, you know, going out there and filming stuff. You know, especially during this time where you know, everybody's in their rooms, much like I am, or, you know, they've lost their jobs, just barely scraping by based off of savings and what little they get from unemployment. I don't know, it just, it didn't feel right. Be making content where I'm just gallivanting around Japan with that, you know, wide-eyed foreigner face, like, oh wow, magical. But at the same time, I still wanted to make content, so that's why I switched over to focus more on the Andy Talks Japandi series. And that series went pretty well for a while, but then, you know, I came across the uh, the problem of because I've been in my room most of the time, you know, do my part in uh, stopping the invites. I kind of ran out of Japan experience to talk about. And also with a work schedule and a school schedule ramping up, it was just getting hard to uh, to balance everything. Earlier this uh, this semester in the fall, I definitely went through a really bad case of burnout. But it was a lot different than the usual cases of burnout I've gone through. Because like, I've been doing this YouTube thing for going on 15 years at this point. So I've had 
my fair bouts of burnout before. And usually I figure just kind of take it easy from YouTube for like a week or two. I'll come back better than ever. But this time it was just so hard, you know, I just didn't have the energy to make the videos. I had plenty of ideas, unlike my other times of burnout where I just couldn't think of anything to, uh, to talk about. But I just didn't have the energy and in a lot of cases, especially near the end of the semester, I didn't have the time because I had to focus on getting final projects or studying for finals or working on switching my visa over so I could get the paperwork all lined up. There's a whole myriad of stuff. After I got done with, uh, with school and submitted my paperwork to immigration, which that's like a whole story in and of itself, really, where I went to like Shinagawa, then later uh, Tachikawa, and then finally at the uh, Kawasaki office where I submitted my paperwork. So they should be getting back to me within uh, a couple weeks or so, from what I've been told. But in the meantime, I can still work and do my thing. But you know, all that said, I'm my own harshest critic. So even though I may think that I didn't really do much of anything this year, like looking back, like I did a whole bunch of stuff. You know, first and foremost, I got my degree. 16 years after graduating high school, I finally got my first post-secondary degree. And yes, it's an associate's, but that's you know, the first step, man. But ultimately, once I go back into the Lakeland system, they'll have to recalculate my credits based on the bachelor program because when I enrolled with the associates, I basically maxed out my transfer credits. You gotta figure out just how many uh, credits they'll be willing to accept. On the VA side of things, they're looking to allow for veterans who paid into the Montgomery GI Bill to eventually get those benefits once their post 9-11 benefits have been exhausted. It's still in the works, nothing's really super official yet. You know, they're still battling it out in court, but uh, things are looking pretty good. I feel pretty confident that uh, I'll be able to, to use those benefits, but until something's made official, you know, can't bet on it, bet on it just yet. But with that, then I'll be able to use an additional year of benefits, be able to get my bachelor's for sure. I do want to announce that this is going to be the last uh, monthly update video. I've decided to get rid of the monthly update videos just because I don't usually have a lot of interesting news to say every month. So I figure instead of making it just a monthly thing, we'll just make it on a as-is basis, you know? So if I do have something I want to announce, I'll make a video for it, but I'm not just gonna make a video because, oh, well, it's, it's a new month, better crank out that update video where I talk you know, 15 minutes about nothing, basically. There will still be vlogs on this channel. And then for the uh, Adam Media channel, I have a lot of ideas for content for that channel in particular. And as for the Andy Japandi channel, uh, you d definitely better believe that I have some ideas. And now with um, things starting to clear up, definitely a lot of different locations just around Tokyo and Kanagawa that I want to not only visit, but revisit as well. Knowing what I know now about editing and camera work and stuff like that, I definitely want to up my game as far as that goes. I also want to do a lot more collaborations as well, but those will be on a when we can fit it in sort of basis. I'm also getting back into playing the video games. For my birthday slash Christmas slash graduation, I decided to get myself a Nintendo Switch and I got the uh, the Pokemon Sword game as well as uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Duelist game. So it's definitely a good nostalgic gasm going back to uh, the two franchises that, you know, really did it for me a lot as a child. I've been playing Pokemon since, you know, the first gen when it came out. And you're never too old to be a Pokemon master. And then for Yu-Gi-Oh, like I remember playing the old Game Boy Advance games when I was in study hall. And that allowed me to learn the mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh far faster than just playing with friends. Definitely feels good to be uh, playing it again. I think it's the first game I've had where you go in like 15, 16 years. I think I've rambled and raved long enough in uh, our final uh, monthly Uppy Date video. Still gonna be doing update videos, but they're gonna be on an as needed basis. I just wanted things by thanking you guys for all the support over this year and previous years. I know there's a lot of OGs still following me, so definitely appreciate you guys and even for the newbies that are following me as well. Thanks to you guys that I managed to keep my sanity somewhat during this incredibly difficult time. I'm really looking forward to entering 2021 with a bunch of positivity and a lot of ideas for making that quality content. So 
With all that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign it for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.